everyone. Welcome to Mommy's Little Trash Cast. This is Bree, and I'm going to continue our trip to Canada in Death Road to Canada. So in the first one, um, did a bunch of stuff and I died. But we have a vehicle now. We've got Marshall, Piz, John, and Greg still alive. And we're on our way to Canada. Off we go in the Bubba Buns truck. Oh yeah, by the way, everybody's in a shitty mood and almost dead. Who leads the escape out of the building on fire? Greg is our leader. Greg will lead that escape. Hey, they all got out, but... Oh no, that's awesome. Yay, they survived. Hallelujah. Greg is a very good leader, I've decided. I feel like that's very true for real life as well. Greg is a pretty good leader. The group finds a street in a town that has traps all over it. Pits with blankets put over the top. Snares everywhere. Spikes on barrels. A door with an obvious guillotine over it. And these are just... No, screw that crap. We're out of here, man. We're trying to make it to Canada. We aren't trying to, you know, do any of this other kind of crazy shit. So as long as one person... Remains alive. The dream of Canada lives on. We only have four food. I don't know. I can't afford to trade food for anything. Oh, jeez. Because this could be where we die. This could very well be where we die. We're going to dive into this nearby factory. To find the way out. Marshall, you've got some weapons. Oh, Piz, you've got nothing. Uh, we're gonna take this this gun, I think, because I never use the guns. And we're gonna give it oh shit skittles, that's not what I wanted to do. Put that in there, and we're gonna give it to Piz, because I feel like he could be okay with a gun. He's only got 12 shots. Oh, Lord help us, we could die here. We may not make it to Canada. So far, so good. So far, so good. We're all alive still. We are all alive still. I really like the zombie design um, in this game. Like, there's so many different kinds of zombie. They all look kind of messed up and creepy. There you go. There you go, Piz. Get out of here. Out of that room. That was not a good room. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm getting eaten. This way, fellows. Take the long way around. Okay, out this door. Is there anything in here? No, there is literally nothing in here. We're trying to find the way, another way out. I don't think, there was an exit door there, but I don't think, I think there's a horde outside and that's like the situation right now is that there's a horde outside and we need to find a different way out of this bitch. Here? Oh lord. This is gonna be like just a mess. This is a room of nothing. Nothing good in this room. That was just a room of bad choices. Let's go in here. Hey! Hey guys! I found the door! I found the door! Let's get out! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Uh-uh! Don't! Uh, we're gonna stay and find them. They are my friends! Oh, you guys! Greg died because he waited for you. I think we're gonna be Marshall now. You guys were too busy fucking around, and now Greg is getting eaten. We're gonna stay and go get his stuff, though. <sighs> Let's climb out. Greg, you sacrificed yourself to go find these guys, and then you ended up dying. 
Hockey sticks are good weapons, no wonder Canada is doing fine. I feel like that is very true. I feel like Canada would survive just because we are resilient folk who are used to the cold and we know what, you know, we, we can kick some ass with hockey sticks. Not saying that Americans can't, by the way. I'm not trying to be that controversial bitch who thinks Canada is the only place that can play hockey because that is not how I function. My team is the goddamn Boston Bruins, by the way. I feel like I'm getting really sweary. Zombie things bring that sweary out of me. By the way. Um... The group camps out in the field eating a decent meal. They find a row of cans. We're gonna leave the camp. Do not shoot those cans. That is a trap. <laughs> None of these zombies has anything interesting to say. But hey, we lost Greg. We found Justin. He is making tons of noise playing a portable game console. Full blast. That is not smart, Justin. That is not a smart thing to do. So I made Justin practical and friend of dog because in real life, Justin is friend of a dog. He has a dog and his dog is adorable. So it just made sense. Onward to Canada. Let's see if we can get these guys to Canada now. <gasps> oh my goodness! Do you see what Marshall just said? Because it is the very un-Marshall thing to say. Marshall in the game just said, I feel like this wouldn't have happened if we kept Obama out of the White House, which is horribly racist, and something that the real Marshall would absolutely never, ever say. Just throwing that out there. Big house or apartment row? Big house. Let's go to the big house. Completely swarmed. Thick, calm, afternoon. What weapon do you come with, Justin? You have a shitty little knife. I feel like you could use a bat. Everybody gets two weapons in my apocalypse. Actually, you know what? I feel like this is a better choice. Hold on. Because we don't have any ammo for that. The Dolt 45 is useless because we have no ammo. So, Justin, you're stuck with just your knife. I'm sorry. We could all die here. I think we're going to just do a brief exploration of this place. We're probably not going to do... Uh, I think we're we're kind of fucked here, fellas. Justin, you could attack something. There you go. Okay, let's go down and out. Down and out. Run, run, run. We got some food. We got some food. Let's try to... Oh, Jesus. This is very overwhelming horde. We got some food. Come on, team. Oh no, we just lost somebody. Somebody just died. I think it was John. Yep, we just lost John. Let's leave. We lost a person. John died. That's very disappointing. That's very disappointing. I'm sorry, John. At least you've joined us. At least you've joined Greg and myself at the big zombie free heavens in the sky. Um, if we help with defense, we're going to get a reward of 15 food, some ammo, and a cowboy rifle. It could be very dangerous. We're going to get Piz to build up their defenses. And teach them some stuff and hopefully they give us some stuff. See, that was awesome. We didn't have to stay and fight and die, but we still helped them out. I like it. Good job. Yeah, let's not mess with Molotovs, please, because I don't feel like dying. Um, do we want to stay up all night and get berries? No. Sleep is more important because we're trying to keep our morale up. Oh, Piz, you're almost dead. 
<laughs> Getting tired of your negative attitude, Piz. Uh, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. We want to do the riled up apartment or the swarmed apartment. Riled up apartment looks all red. Let's do the swarmed apartment and see how far we can get. It is thick, calm, but near noon. Who has what now? Do we have any cowboy rifle? Justin, you can have that. Piz, I feel like you need this uh, gun a little bit more than I do, mostly because I don't do guns. Marshall, you are going to take the bat. And also this bat. All right, fellers. This could be the end of Days of Yara Goes to Canada. Let's go in this room first. Oh, who just died? Oh no, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. We got one food, we got ten, no, no food, we got a medical and some stuff. We killed some zombies. Justin and Marshall are gonna make it. To Canada, maybe. Maybe not. Probably not. Do we want to empty and fresh pick clean of supplies? Oh, let's search for ammo. Okay, that's good. I'm worried about making noise and we are out of gas. Justin and Marshall in a wasteland. Who's gonna make it to Canada? Hey, they're having a good time. Justin and Marshall having a good time. Having a shitty time. Never mind, I take that back. Justin and Marshall having a shitty time. But, Justin did heal all of the wounds. Small sporting goods store, but an SUV! Let's start it up! We got a vehicle! So far, Justin, you've been pretty, uh, pretty, pretty helpful here to us. Justin is a lightning rod, but for dogs. Oh my god! Oh my god, we're gonna totally have a dog. Uh, that is Joaquina, by the way. That is a poodle named Joaquina. Marshall, you are whining a lot. You are racist in this game and you are whining. And I'm very sorry because that is not you in real life at all. But in this game, you are whiny and racist. Six days to Canada, people. Gas pumps are old and don't seem to be functioning. We are going to have just an attempt to fix them. Hey! Beautiful! Awesome! Awesome! Perfect. That worked out in our favor. Do we want to go for a shopping mall or city row with a car? Let's go for a city row with a car. Thick hunting near sunset. Let's go check out the car. Can you carry a weapon, Joaquina? Oh my god, I can give the dog a gun. Oh goodness gracious, that's wonderful. Really good condition, but where are the keys? We just got an SUV though. That's not going to be in good shape for much longer. We're going to go try to find the keys to this vehicle. I wish I could, like, siphon the gas from it. You know, I wish that was an option in here. Just Marshall, Justin, and their dog running through a zombie wasteland. That's my song about this game. What's happening in their lives right now? Just Marshall, Justin, and the dog running through the zombie wasteland. No, nothing in there. This is a quick trip. We are literally in and we are out if we find nothing, fellas.
Oh. I have a feeling that we could lose Marshall here soon. Oh, three food, that's helpful. Come on, fellows. Oh, we were already in that room. Let's go see. I don't really care because we have a vehicle. I don't really care about the car at all. I just uh, want the gas. Okay. Okay, we, we, we should get out of here. This is getting a, a bit, uh, do we want to take the mullet gullet? Let's take the SUV. Oops. We're just going to keep our SUV. I know that we could have taken that van, but I feel like the SUV is going to be a better life choice for us today. Plus it's nice and shiny and pretty. <laughs> Because zombies don't run fast, they shuffle. Zombies should shuffle. Zombies shouldn't run. In my opinion, anyway. Let's see if we can find somebody who's trading food. Like the good food guy! Hello, good food guy. What is that? What is happening here? What do you have? Gas in exchange for food. No, we want food. We need just food. Nobody here selling food? Oh, you're singing beautiful songs. Campfire songs. They go... Let's rest for a day. Good. This girl's singing songs. Every day on the death road is a new adventure. Every day... Alas, poor Billy, I knew her, Marshall. But every day on the death road is a new adventure. You're like having them some things over here, man. Building mass and bulk. Nope, that's not enough food to get huge. I had hoped that like the good food truck would allow us to get food, but now we're we got nothing. Can we starve in this game? Because I'm really wondering. Because we have no food. The weather is terrible. Everybody's in a shitty mood. There's no food. Yep, everything sucks right now. Everything is awful. Everything sucks when you're part of my team. Oh, shit! Who am I going to kick out? I'm playing as Marshall, but Justin has more skills. Marshall demands that either Justin leaves or Marshall does. Okay, I'm going to close my eyes and we're going to do this. I, yeah, okay. We're going to do this and this is my decision. Justin gets kicked out due to Marshall. Marshall feels pretty smug about this. Marshall's morale increases. Sorry, Justin. Sorry, Justin. Bandits have blocked the narrow road ahead between with our cars. Their leader, Lord Humongoid, speaks. Just walk away, give me your car, your oil, the gasoline, and I'll spare your lives. I await your answer. Joaquina has a plan. She figured out a plan. <laughs> That's adorable. She starts honking the horn. The bandits are amused by the sight of an animal doing this. They decide to let the, the group pass. Joaquina, I like you. Marshall and his dog on the way to Canada. Marshall wishing you would play more video games and less hiding from zombies, but guess what? I need food. Oh, you have food! Two cans for every... How much gas do I have? 54 gas. Shit skittles. I guess we'll trade 25 and get two food so we go starve. I feel like that was a total ripoff, but whatever. So, um, sorry, Justin. Um, you ended up getting kicked out. 
I'm sorry. You had more skills, but I closed my eyes and I went back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And then, well, that's okay. Don't feel so bad. They're about to die anyway. We have one hour swarm or one hour siege and I legit have no good weapons and you took the guns. Damn it, Justin, you took my gun! Dang it, Justin! Why would you steal my guns? Don't get cornered. That's the key. This is an overwhelming swarm, but we can do it. Come on, Joaquina. Follow Marshall. Follow Marshall. He will get you safe. Um... We're gonna die, Joaquina! Oh no, Joaquina died! Marshall, you're still alive, though! You're still alive! We can do this! There is still hope for you! There is still hope that Marshall can make it out of here. There is still hope. Marshall, you can get to Canada. You can be the savior of days of yore. Yes! 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 Let's go! We made it! Well, Marshall made it. And he's almost dead. And the car is falling apart. The car is falling apart. Everything sucks. We are going to do morale in a random skill gain. So his morale and his strength increased. I wish it would have given me health there, because I need health so bad. But that's okay. Marshall is sitting around a campfire. Uh, we're just gonna go to sleep. We need the rest because we're all on our own and we're about to run out of gas. Shit. Marshall running into a long and miserable walk. Marshall's in a shitty mood. Bet you wish you wouldn't have kicked out Justin. Hey, Marshall. They want all your food and gas plus half your ammo and medical supplies. We're gonna have to give in to their demands because you ain't gonna make it if they kill you. Yep. This is very, very shitty. <sighs> okay, last ditch effort to get a car. We are literally almost dead. Let's go. Let's just give her. Let's just go. Fuck it, if we die, we die. Don't know if we're gonna make it to Canada, friends. Don't know if we're gonna make it to Canada. But we have gas! Just need to find the keys and we can get the hell out of here. Just need to find those keys. Oh god, they're gonna be way back here somewhere, I can tell you right now. Oh, <gasps> there's the keys! Oh my god, Marshall, you could get out of this. We could get out of this, Marshall. If you just keep running, buddy. Just keep running, we can make it out. We can make it out of here. Let's go get the car. Where's the car? Where's the car? Oh my god. Holy shit. We have a food and 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 we're going to make it. Yes! Holy shit. Marshall. Oh my god. Every time I think I'm going to die, something happens and I survive again. Marshall is all by himself though. Do you can we go back and pick up Justin? <coughs> Marshall sees a city in the distance. Zombies crowd in the streets. Getting back alive may be difficult. Do we want to do the arcade or the apartment with the bark banner? I feel like an apartment would have more stuff. I also feel like if we're going to die, we might as well go out in a freaking... We might as well go out swinging. I don't want to do... Oh, I'm so nervous that I'm going to like die here though. And I know I'm going to die here. We're only four days, four days to Canada. I am so freaking close. I'm going to cry if I don't make it. Marshall, don't you dare die. Oh, it's Bark Bark. I wonder if there's a Poochie in here. Is there a dog in here somewhere? 
No, there's just a pile of zombies. Is this- is this a trick? I feel like this could be a trick. I feel like I got tricked. Uh-oh. This is some baby back bullshit. I feel like I just got totally tricked here. Oh my god. This is not okay at all. I'm so nervous! I'm so nervous we're not gonna be able to get out of here! My dear Marshall! Oh! Marshall died. I was not smart. I should have gone up and around. But guys, that is the end of Days of Yore Tries to Get to Canada. We made it four days from the Canadian border, and then we died. Um, and sorry, and then Marshall died. Our last remaining member of the party passed away. Um, hope you enjoyed this. I may do another run sometime in the future. I don't quite know. I think it kind of stands alone better on two episodes, but who knows? It is a really cool game. It is randomly generated every time you play it, so it's different every time, apparently. I kind of do want to try it one more time just to see if it actually how different it actually is each time you play it but i may not record that one i don't quite know um anyway thank you for watching have a great day everybody and check out the rest of what mommy's little trash cast has to offer i'm sure you'll find something you're gonna like have a great day friends bye some food let's try to oh jesus this is very overwhelming horde. But we got some food! Come on, team! Oh no! We just lost somebody! Somebody just died. I think it was John. Yep, we just lost John. Let's leave. We lost a person. John died. That's very disappointing. That's very disappointing. I'm sorry, John. At least you've joined us. At least you've joined Greg and myself at the big zombie free heavens in the sky. Um, if we help with defense, we're going to get a reward of 15 food, some ammo, and a cowboy rifle. It could be very dangerous. We're going to get Piz to build up their defenses. And teach them some stuff and hopefully they give us some stuff. See, that was awesome. We didn't have to stay and fight and die, but we still helped them out. I like it. Good job. Yeah, let's not mess with Molotovs, please, because I don't feel like dying. Um, do we want to stay up all night and get berries? No. Sleep is more important because we're trying to keep our morale up. Oh, Piz, you're almost dead. <laughs> Getting tired of your negative attitude, Piz. Uh, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. We want to do the riled up apartment or the swarmed apartment. Riled up apartment looks all red. Let's do the swarmed apartment and see how far we can get. It is thick, calm, but at near noon. Who? Marshall, you've got some weapons. Oh, Piz, you've got nothing. Uh, we're gonna take this... This... Gun, I think, because I never use the guns. And we're gonna give it... Oh, shit, Skittles. That's not what I wanted to do. Put that in there. And we're gonna give it to Piz, because... I feel like he could be okay with a gun. He's only got 12 shots. Oh, Lord help us, we could die here. We may not make it to Canada. So far, so good. So far, so good. We're all alive still. We are all alive still. I really like the zombie design um, in this game. I like, there's so many different kinds of zombie. They all look kind of messed up and creepy. There you go. There you go, Piz. 
Get out of here! Out of that room! That was not a good room! Oh god. Oh god, I'm getting eaten. This way, fellows. Take the long way around. Okay. Okay, out this door. Is there anything in here? No, there is literally nothing in here. We're trying to find the way, another way out. I don't think... There was an exit door there, but I don't think... I think there's a horde outside, and that's like... The situation right now is that there's a horde outside, and we need to find a different way out of this bitch. Here? Oh, lord. This is gonna be like, just a mess. This is a room of nothing. Nothing good in this room. That was just a room of bad choices. Let's go in here. Hey! Hey guys, I found the door! I found the door! Let's get out! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Uh-uh, don't- Uh, we're gonna stay and find them. They are my friends! Oh, you guys! Greg died because he waited for you. I think we're gonna be Marshall now. You guys were too busy fucking around and now Greg is getting eaten. We're gonna stay in and go get his stuff though. <sighs> Let's climb out. Greg, you sacrificed yourself to go find these guys and then you ended up dying. Hockey sticks are good weapons, no wonder Canada is doing fine. I feel like that is very true. I feel like Canada would survive just because we are resilient folk who are used to the cold and we know what, you know, we, we can kick some ass with hockey sticks. Not saying that Americans can't, by the way. I'm not trying to be that controversial bitch who thinks Canada is the only place that can play hockey because that is not how I function. My team is the goddamn Boston Bruins, by the way. I feel like I'm getting really sweary. Zombie things bring that sweary out of me. By the way. Um, the group camps out in a field eating a decent meal. They find a row of cans. We're going to leave the camp. Do not shoot those cans. That is a trap. <laughs> None of these zombies has anything interesting to say. But hey, we lost Greg. We found Justin. He is making tons of noise playing a portable game console at full blast. That is not smart, Justin. That is not a smart thing to do. So I made Justin practical and friend of dog because in real life, Justin is friend of a dog. He has a dog and his dog is adorable. So it just made sense. Onward to Canada. Let's see if we can get these guys to Canada now. <gasps> oh my goodness! Do you see what Marshall just said? Because it is the very un-Marshall thing to say. Marshall in the game just said, I feel like this wouldn't have happened if we kept Obama out of the White House, which is horribly racist, and something that the real Marshall would absolutely never, ever say. Just throwing that out there. Big house or apartment row? Big house. Let's go to the big house. Completely swarmed. Thick, calm afternoon. What weapon do you come with, Justin? You have a shitty little knife. I feel like you could use a bat. Everybody gets two weapons in my apocalypse. Actually, you know what? I feel like this is a better choice. Hold on. Because we don't have any ammo for that. The Dolt 45 is useless because we have no ammo. So, Justin, you're stuck with just your knife. I'm sorry. We could all die here. I think we're going to just do a brief exploration of this place. We're probably not going to do... Uh, I think we're, we're kind of fucked here, fellas. Justin, you could attack something. There you go. Okay, let's go down and out. Down and out. Run, run, run. We got some food. We got some...
everyone. Welcome to Mommy's Little Trash Cast. This is Bree, and I'm going to continue our trip to Canada in Death Road to Canada. So in the first one, um, did a bunch of stuff and I died. But we have a vehicle now. We've got Marshall, Piz, John, and Greg still alive. And we're on our way to Canada. Off we go in the Bubba Buns truck. Oh yeah, by the way, everybody's in a shitty mood and almost dead. Who leads the escape out of the building on fire? Greg is our leader. Greg will lead that escape. Hey, they all got out, but... Oh no, that's awesome. Yay, they survived. Hallelujah. Greg is a very good leader, I've decided. I feel like that's very true for real life as well. Greg is a pretty good leader. The group finds a street in a town that has traps all over it. Pits with blankets put over the top, snares everywhere, spikes on barrels, a door with an obvious guillotine over it, and these are just- No, screw that crap. We're out of here, man. We're trying to make it to Canada. We aren't trying to, you know, do any of this other kind of crazy shit. So as long as one person remains alive, the dream of Canada lives on. We only have four food. I don't know. I can't afford to trade food for anything. Oh, jeez. Because this could be where we die. This could very well be where we die. We're going to dive into this nearby factory to find the way out. <laughs> 